Uncle Mike. Now he's the one <coughs> of the bachelor uncle. Yes. Okay. The bachelor uncle. Okay. okay. When you were growing up, what type what type of a, a person was he? Ordinary person, I guess. I don't know nothing. Was he a quiet person or was he a fun uncle or more serious? I don't know. I just regular people. Okay. I, I, I don't know. What? Uh, was he the one that you would have to sleep with? No. No. This yeah, I slept with. Okay. He's the one that had the little cot beside the, beside the <clears throat> uh, table there, in the house. Did he ever come and visit you when you were a kid? In, at, oh at yeah, twelve. So yeah. No. What type of uh, uh, things would uh, he do when he came over to visit? You just probably maybe sit around and play cards or that that's all I remember him doing, yeah. Okay. Was his actual name Michael or was it Mike? Michael, I guess. Michael, okay. Yeah. And it says nineteen nineteen. Huh? Okay. And that's Martin. This is the one that you would Uncle share Martin, the, yeah. the bed with. I like the feather tick in the, yep. in the <laughs> summer. <laughs> right. But it, I think it had the same, like in the summertime, when you were underneath that, it was like, it was cool okay. too. You know, it, was, it wouldn't let the heat, like it stayed laying on the bed. So the heat, even though the room was hot, it was always cool underneath there. Okay. Yeah. Well, I'd like to say I'd maybe stayed up there once or twice, that's all. I'd, okay. I just remember that feather tick, that's all. <laughs> Do you have any m other memories of your Uncle Martin and your Uncle Mike? No, not really. I mean, we, we went over to their place to visit them once in a while. And that's all. Of course, this is my dad. And you've asked all the questions about him already. <laughs> Not all. I've got lots. Yeah. Were you close to your dad when you were growing up? The what? Were you close to him when you were growing up? I, I don't know. Like, what do you mean, close? Did you have a good relationship with him? Oh, yeah. Sure. Was yeah. he a, an affectionate person, or...? No, I don't think so. Mm. No. What type of things would you do, do with your dad when you were a child? Work together. <laughs> That's about all. And that is Clementine. This is your dad's sister? Yep. Did she get married? Yep. Do you know what um, her married name was? Uh, Zar. <clears throat> you know what the husband's name? Yeah. Adam. Adam. Adam Zar. <clears throat> Do you did you ever get to know her when you were growing up? No. no. Where did she live? How far away from you? Regina. Okay. Yeah. So that was pretty impossible to get there quite often. Right. <laughs> the only time you'd ever see him was probably at a funeral or whatever, and that's all. Yeah. Okay. Uh, that Aunt Clementine, Aunt Adola, and Aunt Rosie. This is Aunt Clementine. <coughs> Anatola and Anatosi. Anatola, how do you spell that last name? Anatola? Yeah. <laughs> and... Okay, and then Aunt Rosie? Yep. So were these all sisters of your father? Yep. Or? Okay. Yep. yep. That Aunt Rosie's actually the, she's the oldest one, isn't she? So what was, do you know who it, what their husband's last name was? Yeah. Uh, 
Well, Clement, then you got ready, and the toll she was lit. Oh, IPP? Uh, yeah. And Aunt Rosie was bombing. Did you ever get to know either of the, the other aunts? We've probably seen Aunt Rosie the most. Like, after her husband died, like she used to come down <coughs> bake bread for the bachelors once in a while. Really? We'd help them canny. Was she a good cook? Yeah, I guess so. I mean, the, back then, cooking, that was, I mean, everybody ate good. <laughs> Where did uh, your other aunt live? Actually, I didn't, I didn't know, I didn't know her at, <clears throat> Cause she, her husband died, and then she went back to the states and married uh, Mr. Kuntz, and so they had her three kids, and this Mr. Kuntz had five, I think, somewhere in there, and then they had four of their own, the, the two of them together. Uh, there was no. <clears throat> Not too much communication after she got married to to the Skunts because he didn't want it. nothing to do with the the lip kids or whatever. So, so all of these sisters were they older than your father? Yeah, but my my father was the youngest. Your father was the youngest. Okay. Yep. And this is a set of twins, Aunt Caroline and Aunt Anadola. Okay, the Anadola is the, the lip. Mm -hmm. uh, <coughs> and Caroline is uh, Randall. Marcus Randall. Is but Caroline the, this one or this one? Right is Aunt Caroline. Okay. okay. And so left is left. Okay. Aunt Ola. Okay. So <coughs> do you know Caroline at all? No. No. Nope. Just mm -hmm. like say, seeing her at a funeral or something. Where did she live? She was. Well, she lived toward Kalonzi for a while, but I mean that was. We're just young kids. Then. So how many and people? she moved. She moved out. They moved out to BC. So. How many people are in your dad's family? How many kids? Brothers and sisters? Eleven, I think. Wasn't there? Ten. Huh? Ten. Ten. Oh, my okay, goodness. Ten. So there's, yeah. a, there's a reason why you don't know them all. <laughs> there's a lot of them. <coughs> right. Okay. And this was taken in 1919. Okay. Did they all come over from Russia? From the, yeah. All the kids? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. my goodness. There's... Uncle Martin, my brother David, and Uncle Mike. David, that's your, is that younger, your younger brother? Younger brother. Okay. Yep. What was he like when you were growing up? Little chubby kid. <laughs> <laughs> How much younger than, than you was he? Oh, about four years. Okay. So did you ever get into any mischief with him? Oh, well, everybody got into mischief once in a while. What was considered mischief when you were growing up? Oh, I don't know. We used to, <coughs> when our parents went out visiting some night, we used to hook up one of the steers to the buggy and chase them around the haystack. <laughs> <laughs> Ride around the yard with, with this, actually there was a strange cow in our yard one day, so we hooked her up to the wagon and drove around the yard with her and then Chased you out, chased you home. <laughs> or that's good old farm yeah, kid stuff. Right. Okay. So, what other types of um, things would you do with David when you were growing up? Did chores together, I guess. Mm -hmm. That's all. Well, this, this is the brother who has the farm. Yeah. Oh, this is the one that took over the, the family farm? Yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. okay. So did he always know he wanted to be a farmer? No, he worked. 
He worked in the furniture factory. Oh, he worked in the meat. Uh, like Empire Meat, cutting up hogs and stuff. He worked in there for a few years, and then he, after he got married, he went work in a furniture factory. And, and I know that they decided they wanted to do, or he wanted to do some farming, but he went to do, or he came home to do farming. But I mean, he still had to do other work because I mean the inco income wasn't good enough. So. So, do you remember? I, I, some people have early memories, some people don't. But do you remember when he came, when he was born? Like, do you remember having a new baby in the house all of a sudden? Yeah, I remember him being born. <laughs> <laughs> what was that like for you? Because we were, <clears throat> it was me and my brother. I think we're sitting beside, outside the porch. This is down at Zelma. And well, kids weren't allowed in the house or any place. I know the. Uh, <clears throat> what you call them, the mother, uh, midwife. midwife, came out and told us that we had a baby brother. <laughs> Did you think that was neat, or were you kind of like, uh? I don't know, I was only five years old, four or five years old then, so it's all, uh, I don't know. But, um, we, we didn't ask this since we started out in the cemetery, but, um, uh, when were you born? Thirty-seven. Thirty-seven. Yep. Um, what? Uh, where were you born at? Zelma. Okay. And what did? Were you born in the home? Yep. Okay. Yep. Actually, all of us kids were born at home. Really. Except the two, two girls, the two last, the two last kids. Were they born in a hospital? Yep. yep. Okay. Okay. Great. That's your mom and dad. Their wedding picture. Yep. Did they ever tell you how they met? Mm. Oh, I know how they dance. I guess, or whatever. <laughs> Actually, my mother didn't work. She only she worked uh, for the Moldars. Uh, no, or did she? Oh, the Holters across about a mile away. She worked over there, so they got to know each other, I guess. Do you know what year they got married in? 28. When you think back to your childhood, did they have a, a good marriage? Like, did they get along real well? And oh, yeah. Well, yeah. Worked well together. Back then, there was not too much arguing like there is now. Because they had no place to go. Like, they, they want to split up. There was no place to go, so they they worked it out, I guess. <laughs> Do you know the farm that that your your dad first um, you first lived on? Did he inherit that land? No, he had to buy it. He, 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 he bought, bought it. it. Yep. Okay. When the when the two bachelors and him, like that's when they split up or whatever, <clears throat> they split up. Like the two bachelors had to pay him for. I know, a quarter of land or whatever, so that's how they... Uh, they bought him out of that. the... Okay. Okay. Then, I guess it's ours. Okay. So how did you meet your wife? Uh, she can't. She came down for a Halloween party with with somebody else. I guess. Yeah, that's that's where I met her. So back then, a Halloween party would there be costumes and things like there are when you no, have a Halloween went, today? We went out uh, 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 moving stuff around, like machinery around, and moving the outhouses off the the hole or whatever. So somebody. So it was like a prank day yeah, type right. of thing? Okay. Prank things. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So how old were you when you met when you met your wife? I don't remember. <laughs> wow. Well, Nineteen. He was twenty eight when we got married. Well, so so you were twenty seven. Yeah. 
I don't keep track of things like that. So you, you dated or saw each other for about a year before you got married? No. Do you remember how you asked her to marry you? No, not really. <laughs> for some reason, I bet Anne does. Yeah. Right. Well, <laughs> I probably talked him into it. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Can you tell me a little bit about what a wedding was like when you were growing up and what type of things would you do for a wedding? We had the wedding up at, like, she's from Lashburn. <clears throat> so the wedding was up in Floydminster. I don't know what else you want. <laughs> I think she, she asked what was a wedding like when you were growing up. Do you remember going to any weddings? I think that was her question. No, oh, actually, we didn't go. You didn't go to any when you were a child? No. No? Because there were so many kids, probably had to stay home. <laughs> Nowhere for, no way to get ten kids to a... <laughs> right. Well, then, um, so nice dad, his dad is the youngest. And so by the time any of those cousins or whatever got married, they were all way older and these mm -hmm. kids were too young. Okay. Can't have any fun when you got all those kids at all, I guess. No. <laughs> so, um, for your wedding, when you, uh, when you brought Anne home, since she's not German-Russian, were, were your parents accepting of that or were they hesitant? No. Did they care about that at all? No, I don't think so. Okay. But we were always told, like, I mean, uh, should marry somebody around here, so, but I mean, there was, there was girls here, yes, but I guess got to go out farther and find some new ones. <laughs> and caught your eye. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, sounds good. Those are my parents and our oldest daughter. In the backyard, my dad's apple tree. <clears throat> and what's your oldest daughter's name? Belinda. Oh. Belinda. Oh. Belinda. Okay. B E L I N D A? Yeah. Okay. And is she married now? Yes. What is her last name? Fitzsimmons. F I T Z. S. Then, yeah. like Simmons. Mm -hmm. Okay. And this is in your garden, or? No, that's my dad's backyard. Oh, your dad's backyard. <clears throat> is this in Allen? It used to be, yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. They built the house next to the church. Oh, okay. okay. Hmm. And that's a story in itself. Yeah. Building that's too long to tell. What's now a house <laughs> next to the church originally was the original Catholic church in Allen and was out, out of town on a farm. And then it got moved into Allen and when they built the church that's there now, that church building became the hall, the parish hall. Okay. And then in 1965, they built a new parish hall right across the street from the Catholic Church in town. John's mom and dad bought that building and cut it in half, literally, took the walls and, and the floor and moved them up here because this is where the reels used to live, right here, and built this house next door where his brother David, who wanted to go farming, and his wife then built this house from half of the hall. The other half of the hall is that house next to the church. So. That house and this house have hardwood floors. <laughs> oh my Real goodness. Real dance hall hardwood floors. Yeah. So this is their garden. In the back their house. house. Okay. Yeah. And okay. Dad grew apples. Oh my goodness. How old were you in here, you think? Huh? How old were you in there, you think? Oh. 
that's in town already, so it must be, must have been 13 or 14. And what are you, are you standing next to a bicycle? Yep. So did you, is that your bicycle or I did you share it or? I don't know. I can't remember if we had, if we each had, I know out at the farm we all had one bike. Okay. And everybody to, took a turn riding on it, so. I say I don't know here. <coughs> if there's, well, it's just one bike, so there might be. So it looks like you guys have ball caps on. Yeah, probably. You have a lot of ball caps back then at that mm. time, or? It's regular, I guess. Okay. So what was uh, Joe like when you were growing up? What type of a person was he? Well, he was the one that didn't like to milk cows and stuff, or feed pigs, or he liked to stay in the house, cook, help cook, or whatever. So was he a good cook? Well, he just helped, so <laughs> I don't know if he was... <laughs> when he grew up and, and uh, got married, did he still do some of the yeah, cooking? Yeah, he still does. He still does. He's okay. a retired RCMP yeah. officer, too. Oh, okay. And he's, yeah, yeah he, he likes to cook. Oh, yeah. He's always trying new recipes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And so he looks like he's younger than you? Yep, next one. Next one after, yep. after, me. after you? Okay, so he's, what, one or two years younger? About two years. Two years, okay. So you must have gotten into some trouble with Joe. You got in trouble with, was it David? Mm -hmm. You got to have it gotten to his trouble with Joe. Well, if, if it was, we were always together, I mean, so. <laughs> were you um, really close to Joe and David when you were growing up? Well, I guess so, because that's, I mean, the, the older, like the oldest brother was gone already, and. Martin was at the farm. Yeah, so. Okay. Yeah. I know, after we got married, those three brothers always had to stand next to one another, see who was the tallest and who was the strongest. And I don't. <laughs> yeah. That I remember after I, after I knew them. <laughs> this is my two oldest brothers. So you had a wagon when you were a kid then? Oh, I, that, that's their wagon that, I don't, I don't remember that wagon. You don't remember it when <clears> you <throat> were a kid? So you it, must, is it, there a cat in there? Oh, could be. Or a dog. 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 A dog? Oh yeah, it is a dog, huh? So you always had, did you always have dogs on the farm? Yep. Yeah. And cats. Oh yeah? Yep. Yeah. Were they pets or were they farm they, animals? They stayed in the barn, the cats did. Nothing come in the house. <laughs> <laughs> did they have names, though? Or were they just the cats and the dog? They might have had names, but I don't remember any of them. So can you tell me a little bit about um, Casper, what he was like? What type of a person was he? Ordinary person, I guess. I, I, I don't know what you mean by what kind of person. Was he fun to hang out with, or a big, a good big brother? Well, was he... I mean, he was that much. I, I don't remember him that much. I mean, because he was only home for a few years, and uh, then he took off work someplace, and that's it. What about Martin? Did you get to know him when you were growing up? Yeah, just same thing. But Martin stayed in the farm. Yeah. You. Okay. Oh, I was going to slip. I'm loading wow. hay. <clears throat> How long would it take you to get a stack like that? Oh, probably three or four loads of uh, hay rack fulls to, to make, well, more than that, to make that big pile there. Because they were usually about, uh, probably 30 feet long, maybe a bit more, 40, 50 feet long, maybe. And as high as we could make them, because 
see standing on the rack there and throwing it up top mm -hmm. and I'd find throwing it on on his from that pile on his rack to get it up to make it higher. So were you using like pitchforks? Yep. Okay. Yep. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. And this is a horse and colt that's, that's at my <coughs> uncle's farm. There's 1926 on there, so dad was probably still living there too. So when you were growing up, how many horses did you have on the farm? We actually only had uh, two teams. Four horses, I guess. Four, okay. Yeah. Because by the like we had tractor ready so we didn't have <clears throat> like at Zalma where we, we were born we probably had more horses but I don't remember down there. Okay. <clears throat> so the horses you know they were used for work a lot of the time but did the children ever use them to play around with as well? To ride yeah. Yeah for always, enjoyment? Yeah. Did you guys race each other and things like that? Well just like with that little pony we had we used to race with them it was it was good racing going home, but going away from home, you'd be running and all of a sudden he'd turn and head home and you'd be laying in the dirt. <laughs> so in other words, you had a long walk home. Right. <laughs> well, I'm probably only half a mile away or whatever anyway. Sisters and David on the horse, on the pony. Yeah, you gotta just glue it down so it won't move. <laughs> so, can you tell me a little bit about um, Marie and um, Ida? Ida. I went to teacher's college and went in for teacher. And Marie went uh, to uh, nurses college, whatever, for a nurse. Were they older than you when you yeah. were growing up? Yeah. Did they help, like, take care of you or were they too uh, close in your age that they were with uh, you a lot? Well, we were out in the house together, I mean, but other than that, no, they had their housework to do and we had the outside work to do, so. So they helped your mom with the, yep. the cooking yep. and the cleaning? Yep. And yep. Uh, that's my mom and dad. Turkeys. So I'm guessing you had turkeys on the farm. Right. <laughs> did you, were those for your pers your family's personal consumption or did you just no, sell no. them? No, we, no. We cleaned them and hauled them to Saskatoon and sold them. <clears throat> Who was responsible for cleaning them? Everybody. <laughs> you want to tell me a little bit about what you had to do to kill and clean a turkey? Uh, you, they got hung up. On, the, on, on, on two strings or whatever and my dad used to like cut their throat inside their throat and put a weight on them to hold them down and we'd have to hold on to the wings while he was doing this because uh, there'd be stuff flying all over the place every once in a while one would get away like you couldn't hold on to the wing and he'd go flying into the other stall but then as soon as they squawked or whatever, that's when we could start pulling the feathers off and they'd come off real easy then. But if you tried pulling the feathers out before they did that, they wouldn't come off. So then we picked all the feathers off and 
uh, I guess we left them hanging in the barn until we had them all cleaned or whatever. Then we'd have to uh, pick all the pin, pin feathers out and wash the feet. And we used to have to tie the, put paper around the head and, and tie it up. And that's how we all, didn't take the guts out. That stayed in. And we, Mom and Dad used to put them all in the back seat of the car, pile them up in there, all in Saskatoon. And like they, they had a guy they knew that would buy them, a guy from the store would buy them from. And that was our income for the. So how often did you guys have to? Well, just in the fall. Okay. Yeah. And we had chickens. Like, I mean, we had chickens too, but we didn't, chickens, we just, for our own consumption, I guess. What other types of animals were on the farm? Pigs. Uh, we had some sheep for a while. And then uh, cows and calves. And Did you guys make your own sausage? With, yeah. With, oh, yeah. Want to tell me a little bit about making sausage? Well, but that was usually, that used to happen because there was no, no refrigeration back then. So it was in, in the fall, we'd butcher like a, a steer or whatever and pig or two pigs and, and uh, they cut, it, back then it was pretty well roasts or whatever and the rest was cut up, ground up for, uh, for sausage make sausage, used to can it in jars. Well, smoked it and everything first, and then put it in jars and canned it. And that's we used to eat until next, next summer, I guess. And then same thing had happened in the fall again. Every year? Yeah. So did you guys have a smokehouse? Some what? A smokehouse? Well, yeah, we just made... We just had a barrel with a, uh, <clears throat> just have a barrel and then we'd set it up on something and so we could, uh, uh, some chunk of metal or whatever, shove some wood and straw and stuff in there and that's just to, to hang the, hang the sausage in the, in the barrel or whatever and put a cover on. No, we didn't, like some had, <clears throat> like a, an old outhouse. They used to use for her smokehouse. <clears throat> no, we just had a, a barrel or whatever was some, some metal on. <clears throat> so these are the the boys. Those are the boys, right? <laughs> Taken in this house. In this house. So uh, five boys. Right. Did you guys get a little rowdy, wrestling and? Uh, sometimes, yeah. <laughs> Did anybody ever get hurt when you guys were wrestling or playing around? Oh, I don't think so. Okay. No. And then these are the girls? Yep. So, your mom, was she a good cook? Yep. What, what was your, the favorite, your favorite meal that she used to prepare? Uh, they were all good. <laughs> Did she used to make German dishes or? Yeah, oh yeah, they were all, all German dishes. Do you remember any of the ones that she used to make? Well, we still have some today, so I, I can't name which is, i say they were all good. Is there anything that she I, made? That I you, like all kinds of food. <laughs> was there anything that she would make that you didn't like? Not really, no. Not really. No, no. 
Did your dad ever help in the kitchen? Not that I know. Nope. Okay. No. Okay. Let's in this right here. Oh, is that the fan? The see, let's go here. That. David, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. me, and brother-in-law Joe. Okay. 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 Well, I, um, do a couple concluding general questions. Um, before we end, when you think back to your childhood, what was the most adventurous thing that you ever did? I don't know. <laughs> there, was, there wasn't too many adventurous things on the farm. Right? I mean, it was all, it was mostly work. There wasn't too much play. <laughs> How about a stressful experience? What was the most stressful childhood experience? I don't know either. <laughs> Do you remember some um, of your happiest childhood, the happiest times on the farm? What you enjoyed most about being out there? No, don't really. Okay. No, no. And then is there anything else about your childhood that uh, you would like to talk, to share with us today that you've, you think we didn't cover? No, not really, no. Well, that should do it, and we thank you for spending the day with us.